Hello everyone and welcome to Hive Sidecast. My name is Arclight. And tonight we have match between Exertus and Archaea. Archaea is aliens and Exertus as marines. Just a second. There we go. They restarted the server so it went bad. So the Exertus is rushing the second infantry portal. It's probably a smart choice. And rushing sound tunnels and the new elevator overlook RT. We got two three aliens moving in. Trying to hide. Let's see how it goes. First engagement. Oh nice, nice. Jumping one marine and second's gonna be gang draped. But because it does two infantry portals it's gonna go fine as we got a close spawn as aliens are in the warehouse. Look at that. Sneaky aliens working on the RT already. Although Marines will be in time to save it. One Skulk almost down. Oh my god, we got two Skulks in the back. This is this could be a fast base rush scenario. <laughs> Exertus already saying GG and I think Arkea played it nicely. Oh, but the Marines getting back in the game, clearing out everything. Well, last Skulk manages to buy down that RT. We got aliens expanding with their webs and ore processing. I don't think those Hydras were necessary. But if they want to keep that RT secure, it's much better. Two, three Marines waiting on RT in elevator transfer. Building power node first, with combined effort. <coughs> we got Carujo stalking. Celerity is complete. Oh, Carujo is in a bit of a... Oh, they found him. See this vent here that goes in between these? One marine down. That ragdoll making the second marine trigger happy. Let's see how this goes. Oh, but aliens are running away using their mobility to run into north tunnels. Even I didn't notice that. So, uh, Arkea went for celerity first, so we're gonna will not see Hive anytime soon. But they are assisting, as you can see here, towards the uh, RT in the bottom, and that's also a nice addition from Hughes giving us oh <laughs> Zayko bad time Skagan bad time this is just pure evil oh but Karujo managed to get in while they were reloading and didn't get that marine well, we got Hydras in position as well as Gorge oh a fan of dropping on one marine insta giving him shotguns are done Zaps this knife master. Marines got three RT, one is lost. Squirrelly is building the um, observation. And the aliens did stop with assists right there as the Marines started to push. They got enough rest. I think we're going to see a hive drop. Assists are already here. Oh, look at that weird assist placement. Where did that one go? Of the map. Hmm. <coughs> well, we're gonna take a picture. Weird cyst placement, to be honest. And what's happening here? Let's check. Marines got two infantry portals, armory with shotguns, four RTs, and working on building their fifth one aliens did drop the hive we got one gorge there and think one of the exorcist members gorging yeah Zayko gorging right there dropping his hydras i think it's a good position to drop them all in the same place because they can be easily snipe down we got three gorges because I see a lot of hydras 
Hydra shooting down Marines now easily. Look at that. Marines can't do anything versus, versus all those gorges and skulks. I think it's gonna be easy job. Oh, but they core extended. <laughs> but it manages to do a good job there. Distracting it long enough so the hive is almost done. And if the hive is done, it's gonna provide additional healing for aliens. They're trying to snipe down that skulk, but hive is done. Commander is in, so their uh, leap, leap has started almost immediately. And marines are still pushing for the hive, trying to snipe it down now that it's over. But we got four marines and all the skulks. Look at this, all skulks. Manages to gang the marines down in a few quick bites. I think what really happened is, um, well, Exertus did the best they could, but uh, they probably engaged in this direction here. Could be much better instead of trying to shoot shotguns straight through this. Well, also, it gives the uh, Hydras easier, what's happening, easier position to shoot back, but. Looking at all that, I think it's much better engagement position for shotguns to be in closer and LMGs in the back providing long range support. But grenade launchers are done. We have advanced armory. We got third infantry portal, which is a good decision in a way. We again have three shotguns and two LMGs. We got no face tech. Consider that this is no big, but not even a small map too. And Blink started for alien team now. But I got no rest whatsoever. So I think smarter... Oh, it's dropped. Never mind. I wanted to say this would be a smarter choice to drop a Harvester before a Blink. And what else do we have? We have fast leaping celerity aliens across whole map we got four marines one with a grenade launcher it's timmer pushing for warehouse hive as you know um tram got changed a bit where am i tram got changed a bit so you can't really shoot directly into the hive but you can lob grenades over easily you see pretty scary to be marine now with all those Leaping alien, so there he goes. Let's try to get a cinematic view from this. Look, oh, lobs fail. Over lobs it. There we go, some solid hits. Notice the warehouse hive is not 50%. Oh, but surround killed so many with that GL. Four aliens are down. And I think Warehouse Hive might go down pretty fast. 50. Oh, the alien team is dead. Oh my god. There we go. Four aliens spawned. And what a good luck for the aliens that three of those spawned in Warehouse. And look at that. They did a counter number on all that Marine team. Warehouse Hive is at low 22%. And I think we need to see some gorgeous here. I think Ryan's going Gorge, or Zayko is. Maybe Ryan's going Fade, since we do have a Blink done, and he's got no rest. Now we got two Gorges. <coughs> oh, through the ground. There we go. This time they got no grenade launchers, only LNGs and shotguns. I think it's kind of a bad decision. And there we have first Fade. Look at how fast that goes. It's hard to even keep track on it. Now Alien is going to be pushing for their marine base. Fade keeping in the back. Chased away. With more than enough health to finish up that marine. But marine is going to push for it. Two more marines behind it. And we're going to have engagement here by Fade. Look at that. Look at that Fade control. It's not same looking at from uh, <coughs> from top as it is looking at from this view. Look, look how that looks. Jumping up, down, blinking away, in and out. Okay. 
clearing that marine easily. Because like like this, you can't really say what the fate is doing. It pretty much looks like he's blinking straight forward, but it's he's actually not. Now, what's happening? Marines got armor one, aliens got blink, they got no uh, upgrade on second hive yet, but they could easily go for um, carapace or e either uh, feign death. <coughs> Whatever they feel is better for their fates. Also, celerity is a very, very good upgrade for fates because look at that movement. They do not use blink constantly because it doesn't really help you. You still get full damage when you're in blink, so why waste this energy? Just, just uh, tap blink because it's much better. Look at that, how fast he moves in. Fades running away. Skagen out, moving in. Gonna feel safe to clear out around there. Nice, nice. Very nice control by Fades and. Notice that there are only two fades in team now, not not more, although they do have enough rest to drop another one. Look at that. 45 rest. 40 is the fade egg. And I think they might even want to get Crag Hive and Shell Carapace. Aliens win, Marines GG out. Command station taking so, damage. I guess this is it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you next round.